Hey everyone, Chelsea Rittenauer here, your host for Music Talks, exclusively on the Armstrong Neighborhood channel. So we're doing a little off-the-cuff Christmas special for you all. The mastermind behind this show, cameraman Mr. Rick Fike, he sent me a text on Friday and he said, Hey, can we get some friends from past episodes together and throw a Christmas episode together? And I said, absolutely, why not? So here we are to celebrate the holiday season, spread some Christmas cheer, and give you a half hour set of some fantastic Christmas music. But before we get started, I just want to let you know what to expect for 2020. We resume episodes in late January, and we are booked all the way through June, which is absolutely fantastic. We will, though, have to take a short little break, probably, oh, I don't know, six to eight weeks off because I am expecting. So we're going to take some time off so I can get used to being a new mother and all of that fun stuff. And we should be back up and running, I would say, late August. So. If you are interested in being featured on the show, or if you know of a band or a solo act that would like to be featured, feel free to reach out to me. You can either message us on our Music Talks Facebook page. I will see the messages and respond to you. You could reach me on my personal Facebook, ch Facebook page, Chelsea Rittenauer, C-H-E-L-S-E-A, R-I-T-E-N-O-U-R, or you could email me at chelsearittenauer at gmail.com. We would love to keep the show going all throughout 2020. So for those of you that enjoy watching or you've been on the show in the past, please reach out to your talented musician friends and tell them to shoot me an email because we have a personal goal to make it all the way through 2020. We're gonna take a short break, and whenever we get back, we will have an interview and a nice little Christmas jam session with some of our friends. Sit tight, and we'll be right back. Welcome back, everybody. So tonight I have special guests Donnie Barney and Hannah and Hallie Detweiler, the twins. I call them the twins. I call them the twinsies sometimes. Yeah, absolutely. So before we jump into the music, I want to do a quick little recap with you all. And why don't you tell me what you've been up to recently since I last saw you on the show? Uh, pretty much the same thing I've always done. I just playing a bunch, and uh, whoever calls, I kind of go and do that. Playing a lot by myself, and uh, keep calling people out there. I'll play guitar for you. Everything from weddings. To we have done a wedding together. Christian contemporary. Yes. Girl act. <laughs> pop. Country. I kind of just do what I'm told, and do a lot of it. Yeah. Real busy through the end of the year. I'm really excited about that. Do you have any big gigs coming up that are open to the public that you could kind of promote right now? I really wouldn't say big, but um, let's think. So, so on Monday. I will be at the Gold Rush in Fairmont, West Virginia, next Saturday, playing guitar for Wyatt Turner. Come out if anybody comes to Fairmont. Uh, Meagers Pub by myself on Friday the 27th. I really can't remember where all I'm going to be, but I do have That's like fair. I have like eight more shows for the rest of the year. I understand. I'm kind of tired. Yeah, yeah. I played three weddings in October. Hey, three weeks in a row. Tis the season. One with you. Tis the season. So, for anyone that may have missed your episode, can you tell me a little bit like what you primarily play, what your genre of choice is? Like, if someone comes out on any Saturday night and they run into you. What are they typically going to hear you do? Probably a lot of Tracy Lawrence songs <laughs> from the 90s. Um, no, I just I was born like a country person by nature, and yeah. it's kind of what I do, but not always. I do a little bit of everything. Right. So. But you'll probably hear some Doug Stone or Tracy Lawrence if you come see me on a Saturday night. Love it. And drink tequila, because I, I make you. 
No. Make people. Not you, but no, the audience. No tequila for me. You. You. All the, the tequila. Audience. All of it. So one more question, and then maybe a couple more. And I'll move on to the twins here. How long have you been playing guitar? You asked me this last time. I really don't know. I, I'm uh, be 27 in less than a month, and I started when I was 12. So are you, Do any, the good, math. Are you any good at math? No. Laurel Highlands math wasn't as good as Connellsville's. Long time. <laughs> Feels like forever. <laughs> And you started out on the guitar, right? Like the singing thing just kind of happened recently? Yeah, I guess out of necessity. Yeah. I like to go do more. So you can do more with yourself than you can with other people, yep. I've learned. It's easier to depend on yourself. But you not only play solo gigs, you will jump in for other bands, like if someone needs a filler, or if there are singers like them that need a guitarist. Or like if a TV show calls me the day before and says we're filming a TV show, I'd jump right in. <laughs> right, like us. Right. Casual. Awesome. Thank on, you, Don. On the fly. I'd like to say, yes. since we're doing this, this is the first annual Music Talks Christmas show. Yes. We only have a couple artists. Next year, we should just start planning to have all the artists that we're on we at once. We absolutely should. And, and have, have a party. Yes. Because there's a bar and we'll have a party. All right. So everybody that was on Music Talks for 2019 and everyone who's coming up for 2020, Put it in your calendar. Sometime in December next year, we're all going to get together, sing one or two songs, have it on camera, and have a little party, and it's going to be fantastic. Rick, you heard that. The second annual Music Talks Second Christmas annual, we're going to make it happen. And everyone out there who's watching, you're all invited to. I think that sounds like a great idea. I think and it we might should... be a horrible idea. but <laughs> No, we're going to make it happen. All right, so I'm going to move on to the twinsies here. So, what have you guys been up to? Uh, we've been singing at a lot of places. I like, know, you've been very busy. Yeah, we just sang at um, the, Br the Brownsville Community Center on Saturday with Donnie. We sang some Christmas songs, and yeah, we're just pretty busy. And you just got done with your high school musical auditions. You're going to be gearing up for that in a lot of rehearsals. Yeah. So you guys are going to be busy with that. All right, let's talk... Let's talk genre, because the last time you guys were on here, you sang all Christian contemporary, correct? Yes. And you guys are still doing the Christian contemporary thing. Yeah, we still do Christian contemporary, but lately we've just been getting events that we just decided to do, like mix of pop, country, old songs, like new songs, mm -hmm. just a bunch of stuff. So you guys kind of stay in the vein of pop whether it be radio pop, pop country, or Christian contemporary is basically yeah. pop music. Yeah. I mean, that stuff is catchy. It really is. So do you have any other big gigs planned for the end of 2019? Not for this year, but recently we have been doing... Oh, yeah, you guys have... I guess it would kind of be called, like, cosplay for yeah. birthday parties. Yeah, so we do Elsa and Anna, and we do have our very first birthday party in January. <laughs> so that it should be fun, and That's we're preparing fun. for that. Do you guys sing at these parties? Yeah, so you're, like, the singing princesses. <laughs> Basically. <laughs> That's perfect. Okay, so for anyone out there watching, if you have little ones... These girls can come to your birthday party and be Anna and Elsa, and they can sing and entertain your children. Yes. That's awesome. And do we have any, other than birthday parties, do we have any like straight singing gigs booked for 2020 yet? Not, uh, not as of right now. That's yeah. fair. We we're working we're, on it. Yeah, we're working on it. That's very fair. Um, and oh, one thing that we talked about last time was writing. So you guys had, what, two songs finished? Yeah. The last we spoke, maybe one? One song and one almost finished song. <laughs> okay, and have we made any progress? Actually, Donnie just told me to mention this. We plan on recording our song. We just have yet to no schedule it. it. <laughs> yeah. And we keep writing new songs and just not... <laughs> Not finishing them. I know. You two, you two cannot, you can't agree and, yeah. and finish a song. That's why Donnie's here, to help you guys out with that. So, Silver, is that the one you'll be recording? Uh, yes. 
Awesome. And I've heard that one. It's fantastic. Did you sing it on this show? Yeah, yeah, yeah you guys said it with, premiered on this show. Yeah. You were on the show back in what? It was early 2019. Oh, with like May. It was around <laughs> May. Oh, no. Yeah. I feel like it was the beginning of summer around there. Okay. Okay. So for anyone that may want to recap, you can go back, check out their song, their episode and you can hear their original song, Silver. Um Anything else to look forward to? I mean, are you guys going to release an entire EP, maybe of four and five songs in 2020? That would be really cool to do. I'm going to try to push you guys yeah. to do that. <laughs> we definitely need some pushing. <laughs> Absolutely. Cool. And do you know where you're recording yet? No. 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 Not yet. Still <laughs> in the works. All right. That's fair. That's fair. But we have a lot of things to look forward to from all of you in 2020. Yeah. Fantastic. So... Donnie, you're going to play and sing a couple songs for us tonight solo. You girls Woo. are doing three? Yes. And I think I am going to end the evening out for us and do a bit more of a classical rendition of Oh Holy Night because for those of you that know my singing and know me out there, I was known for my classical singing first before I went over to the dark side and started <laughs> singing pop and rock so i'm gonna go back to my roots and give you something really pretty to end the evening out with well guys it was lovely talking to you and recapping everything this is gonna be a lot of fun let's get to the good stuff let's get to the music let's get to it. we will be right back everyone Armstrong's Healing Heroes Initiative is changing lives for area veterans struggling with disabilities such as PTSD, traumatic brain injury, and more. These incredible dogs help give people back their self-confidence and independence. We've raised over $250,000 to train and donate medical service dogs from guardian angels in the communities we serve. If you or a loved one are a qualifying veteran, please visit armstrongonewire.com slash healing heroes and click apply now. Together, we can unleash the power to heal. So I'm going to do a little song written by Robert Earl Keane, a good old Texas country artist um, that really hits home with me, really strikes a nerve, it hits me right here in the heart, makes me a little choked up inside, it takes me back to going to Christmas parties with my mom and dad as I was a kid, it really you know, puts me in the Christmas spirit. So this is from me to you folks out there in Armstrong Cable Land, Merry Christmas from the family. Mom got drunk and dad got drunk at a Christmas party. We were drinking champagne punch and homemade eggnog. The little sister brought her new boyfriend. He was a Mexican. We didn't know what to think of him till he sang. Feliz Navidad, Feliz Navidad Brother Ken brought his kids with him The three from his first wife, Lynn And the two identical twins from his second wife, Mary Nell of course he brought his new wife Kate Who talks all about AA Chain smoking while the stereo plays Noel, Noel, the first Noel Carve the turkey, turn the ball game on Mix margaritas when the eggnog's gone Send somebody to the stop and go We need some celery and a can of fake snow A bag of lemons and some diet Sprite A box of Pampers, some Marlboro Light Hallelujah, everybody say cheese Merry Christmas from the family Fran and Rita drove from Harlan Gin. I can't remember how I'm kin to them. But 
When they tried to plug their motor home in, they blew our Christmas light. Cousin David knew just what went wrong. So we all waited out on our front lawn. He threw the breaker and the lights came on and we sang Silent Night. Oh, holy night. Carved the turkey, turned the ball game on. Mixed Bloody Marys, cause we all want one. Send somebody to the quick pack store. We need some ice and extension cords. A can of bean dip and some diet rice. A box of my dolls, some Salem lights. Hallelujah, everybody say cheese. Merry Christmas from the family. Feliz Navidad. I'm going to do one called New Year's Day because I don't think New Year's gets the love it deserves. I don't think this song's even actually about New Year's Day, the holiday, but I'm not sure. I woke up early Sunday morning, had myself a piece of toast, had $50 in my pocket. Gonna chase myself a ghost Went down Camino Espinosa Gonna get me a divorce I'm gonna split with all my money See that girl who loves the horse It's New Year's Day here on the border And it's always been this way I never do the things I ought to I think I'll stay, it's New Year's Day Well, I met them boys there from O'Connor Cowboy like you've never seen They're up for anything you want to Live on steak and refried beans They bought up half of Southern Texas That's why they act the way they do When them boys Meet me in Laredo They think they own Laredo too It's New Year's Day here on the border And it's always been this way I never do the things I ought to I think I'll stay It's New Year's Day I know a girl here in Laredo Her name's Honeysuckle Rose She's got that ring around the collar Got that ring stuck through her nose She works there at the Dallas Cowboys She ain't got no in-between Like all them other boys in dresses they ain't every cowboy's dream It's New Year's Day here on the border And it's always been this way I never do the things I oughta Think I'll stay It's New Year's Day It's New Year's Day here on the border And it's always been this way I never do the things I oughta I think I'll stay, it's New Year's Day.
So this next song is O Come All Ye Faithful.
that your baby boy would one day rule the nations. Did you know? Ladies, thank you so very much. That was beautiful. Thank you for coming out last minute. Rick and I really, really appreciate it. And I know everyone out there watching is going to love what you did tonight. And Donnie, I loved your songs. <laughs> they were so funny. Thank you for bringing your flair and doing your thing. It was, it was a lot of fun. <laughs> All right, Thanks. we've got one more for you tonight. You guys can go ahead, take a seat. So. I, did I message you last night about this? Yeah, so I messaged Donnie last night and I said, hey, we, we might need a couple extra songs. So I guess I'll sing. <laughs> and I was like, let's just do Oh Holy Night. Um, we picked a random key. We went through it really quickly before we started filming and here we are. This is my favorite Christmas song. It's your favorite Christmas song? Favorite. I, I think it's a lot of people's favorite Christmas song. I mean, it's a classic, so. Um, for everyone out there that tunes in and watches us every week, thank you so very much for your support. We start back up filming in late January and we're booked all the way through June, but please remember to tell your friends and your family, anyone that has a band or is a solo act to get in touch with me. You can do that via email, chelsearittenhour at gmail.com, or you can just hop on to our Facebook page, Music Talks, and you can send us a message. I will see it and I will respond to you ASAP. So, shall we do this? Close it up for the for the evening. Yeah, if you're singing along at home, we're we're just doing the key of C, nice and easy. Oh
is a wrap. Have a lovely evening. I hope you enjoyed our little Christmas special. And we will see you again in late January. Bye, everybody.